People who live in towns and cities in Uganda and many other African countries have some access to grid electricity to light their homes and power their businesses. But many rural people aren't connected at all. But simply waiting for the grid to arrive isn't good enough for entrepreneurs like Moses Akera. He recognizes there's a good business to be made harnessing the power of the sun. I really prefer solar to be used in the community like this because it remains the property of the clients. You don't pay bills and you don't buy fuel like somebody using generator. So solar energy is the best option for many rural Ugandans. But being new to the industry, many solar retailers like Moses were struggling to make their businesses a success. We don't have capacity uh, to advertise ourselves, our products. We don't have capacity uh, to have quality technical training. So the Rural Energy Foundation, a not-for-profit organization, introduced the Solar Now program in 2007. Its aim, to spread the benefits of electricity throughout rural Africa by providing training and support to existing solar retailers like Moses. And they encourage other retailers and entrepreneurs to start selling solar equipment from scratch. Most of these retailers need to be supported in terms of training so that they can be able to run their businesses better. They also need support in terms of market awareness because so many people out here in the field do not know about solar, so we need to come and enlighten them. As well as training, the Rural Energy Foundation loans retailers portable demonstration kits, which they use to drum up business in local markets. What we're trying to do is these people are off-grid and they do not have access to electricity. So we're trying to show them how solar can improve their lives. For instance, we try to show them how they can make money from solar. For instance, here with us we have a, a shaver, so they can use this to have barber shops. We also show them how they can use it to use light at their homes. See, when you have this light in your house, the children can study at night. They can use it in their shops to work longer hours, and they can use it at home. If retailers want to use the Solar Now brand, they have to commit to providing high-quality installations and good after-sales service. The Rural Energy Foundation helps them achieve this by training solar technicians. We're trying to get the entrepreneurs to sign service contracts. So when they sell the product, they, it also comes with after sale service. Let's say they have to check uh, to make a phone call to the customer after a certain period to check if the system is working. And then uh, till after some time through the service contract, they also have to go and actually do the inspection of the system. The Rural Energy Foundation has trained over 200 retailers in nine African countries. So far, they've sold 57,000 solar home systems and 36,000 solar lanterns. They've helped at least 400,000 people, saved nearly 5 million litres of kerosene and 12,000 tonnes of CO2 each year. Basil Okelo is impressed and has decided to buy the equipment from Moses to set up his own solar barbershop and phone charging business. He's taking advantage of a credit scheme which helps entrepreneurs buy equipment from Solar Now retailers to get their businesses going. Solar Now is giving me a loan. I'm going to make a down payment of 25% now. Uh, later, in three months' time, I'll make another 25%, making a total of 50%. Then the remaining I'll complete within the period of a year. With his system now installed, Basil is optimistic about the future because this is a new investment I'm going into. I have never been to this business before, but uh, as I see, I have the expectation that I, I'll, make, I'll make money. Moses is growing his solar retail business too. He already had a shop in town. With support from the Rural Energy Foundation, he's now set up a small village branch to cater specifically for his rural customers. Rural Energy Foundation, it's very important to us. If the help us training technician, we shall be in position to expand all over. We hope that others will also adopt the private sector development approach. We don't want to be unique. We want to spread the word that this is a really efficient approach to get the technology diffused deeply into the rural markets.
The Rural Energy Foundation plans to expand into other African countries and broaden its range of sustainable technologies. Solar panels are now becoming a common sight here on homes, and shops buy them as well to run radios and offer phone charging, increasing their income and enabling people to communicate. And to everyone's delight, the local bar has installed a fridge powered by the sun. The owner is pleased with his investment. Yeah, we are happy because it's called uh, the beer tastes better, and so I get more customers. <laughs> <laughs>